Welcome back to Wizard Ween. This is day 21. Let's get on into it, shall we? So let's see. We started that one. Just gotta wait for those to hatch. Or not hatch. Well, is it eggs? I don't know. Just gotta wait for those to exist. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So why don't we... So I kind of want to put this one off a little bit. Because I think we're starting to run close to the end. Well, maybe we're not. I don't know. Eh, let's do this one anyway. Naughty's quests are usually kind of fun. They all some fighting, typically, so... Or at least one of them does, and it's like a really good fight that I very much enjoy. I think it's the last quest we have with Natty, so there's this one, and then I think there's one more, and that's the one I like. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibel, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Our quest is so funny. It's basically, I want to disobey my mom, so let's find a way to do that without, <laughs> you know, also worrying her. Natty's quests are, like, so rebellious. Look at all this Grimace! Grimace, Grimace, Grimace! Glad you came. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, ah, madam. What have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that Spooky. I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Yeah, <laughs> Isco. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence I love the dude, Harlow, Mr. Mrs. Pickle. Very well. That's such a funny Here's name. I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. We shall expect a response by week's end. Or shall we expect a response by week's end? My bad. Best to keep this between us, if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Eh, <laughs> Mr. Bickle. What 
Dibble. Dibble. Dibble works at Gladrax. Dibble. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't take it. But... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, oh, what? sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. Creative bookkeeping. I'm terrified to say Jesus that Christ. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. I well, shall. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Do I want up the stairs? Yes, I did. Okie dokie. Oh, what's that lovely noise? Kitty! Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Cool. That's really pretty. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow, as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One cool. day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew Pronounce it, Neanderthals, I'd been petrified, but, right. and That's Harlow fine. was rifling through my home. <laughs> he found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Why Mr. am I standing friends. like that? Look at me. Now to find Natty. I look like a gremlin. <laughs> uh. 
Ugh. Can't run between the buildings, how rude. What did you do, sir? You're an idiot. Wonder what he's talking about. Hello. What you eating in the snow? What are you doing? Lunatics. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. Hmm, perhaps. Now comes the fun part. As soon as I get to the Hogshead. Her little mystery themes are pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. They're fun. Natty must be around here somewhere. Ugh. All right, into the lake. <laughs> Is this the Black Lake, or is it a different body of water? Such a random thing, but I'm curious. While we look for Natty, why don't you all head on down and do the YouTube thing? Rebellion. I'd appreciate it greatly. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Let's go fight some Ashwinders, baby! Footprints led to this room. There must be another one. Never have I actually found all the love letters, and I really want to do it this time. So let's see if I can. I don't think I can, to I be honest. I be sure I'm not seen. You didn't see anything, don't worry. Don't worry, not a not a single single thing. Girls be nothing but trouble. About time we love. I don't even know where to begin to look for these uh, love letters and the poem. Where the heck are they? Oh, 
Oh, why do they have a goat? Random. There must be some students at Hogwarts that we could recruit. I used to be staying. Pavilion. With Selwyn. Let's try this way first. Oh, have we been back here? We should speak to her again. Oh, that was Perhaps so close. Tell us where we can find that friend of hers. Ah, she's determined to say nothing. The boss will deal with her when he arrives. Hey, for your information, the girl's friend won't come looking for her. Too dangerous. Ah, crud. Ah, okay. I've been spotted. Lightning! <laughs> I love torturing them. Alright, let's see, let's see. Forget hiding. That he must be here somewhere. A little more. All oh, right, what do we got? What do we got? A wand. Very cool. another collect. Ugh, no love letters, dude. Oh, Natty. Mr. Rabe? Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. Yeah, I found I it before it talking nearby. to you. Now, you best stand back. Because I was focused on one not saving my friend. <laughs> and looking for stuff instead. Alright, alright. Any poems or love letters? About in here. Is good. My pleasure. Nope. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. We owe our lives to your bravery. I know you do. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both. Uh, that's fine. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Yeah, Very we well. got this. But be careful. Thank you, my young yeah. friend. Yeah, you're welcome. Whatever. <laughs> Did Natty not follow me? Oh, whatever. Oh, there she is. Ha! 
<laughs> He's upside down. Fantastic. All right, now let's find that stuff. Oh my gosh, really? Like, this is on the easiest mode, and I cannot find them to save my life. Did we find a letter? You are as dear to me as an augury, whose vo oh, it's a poem, whose voice foretells the coming rain. You are as loved by me as a crop could be, whose loyalty is true and plain. That's weird. Uh, you have cast a spell over my heart. I want it not undone. You have charmed me from the very start. You always have been the one. Filbert. Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Nice. All right, now we just gotta go find the love letters. They gotta be somewhere. Did we find him? I've never... <laughs> they were right there! Oh my god. My darling Otto, I have read your last letter over and over, and am certain to read it again, each hour until we are able to meet. I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I, I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those whom we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at your, at your waiting to wait until... You are more settled, my love. And I know that you are doing all you can to ensure the to ensure that such a situation with is within our grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an ex ex existential challenge, existen ex yeah, existential challenge indeed. And now I'm off to read your letter once more. Yours affectionately, Rosie. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. How have I never found that before? And it's right there. It was right there. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway. Pavilion. Pretty sure that's everything, so let's get out of here. Uh, did I go the wrong way? Hey, singer. What's up? I own I. I should have known. And you, are we in trouble? The troll dispatcher. Yeah, are we oh, in trouble? Thank goodness, the two of you are safe. Are we this in trouble though? They told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Abel right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. 
With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. <laughs> I, I guess I, that you I deserve that. <laughs> we shall have no further discussion on this. Whatever you say. That's no, fine, sorry. I'll just go fight him you instead. You wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. Uh -oh. My mother will not like this. No, she Thank won't. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Sounds good. Bye. Apple! Oh, or not. That's pretty cool. Check that out. I want one. Got some talent points. Let's see, what can we do? Range damage push so okay, that sounds fun. Stronger Thunder Brew. Focus drain five of the expended. Hmm. Cool. Noxious. Venomous and Yes. Yes, I enjoy that. Yay. I love fighting trolls. Oh, what? Oh. Okay, quest. Let's do this one, I guess. Oh, wait, I should actually sell some stuff first. Because I think I got some stuff I want to get rid of. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for buying my stuff. Let's go see if this task is done yet. Might as well get the uh, XP if it is. All right, uh, where's the breeder? In this one, right? No? No, it must be upstairs. Yeah, it's the beach one, my bad. It's the beach one. Oh, good. There he is! Our little baby Thestral. Hello, little baby Thestral. I love you. I 
should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Oh yeah, and I gotta move these guys upstairs, don't I? Because this is a weird place for them to be. I might move the toad too. Nah, I'll leave. Him. No, mm. I'll move the toad. He needs some fresh water. And you. I'll move them all. This is a weird place for them. Oh, yeah, check it out. Check it out, I fixed the place up. What do you think? Beauteous. Steven. I love you, Steven. Yeah, this would be great for the little toad guy. A little hypno toad. Alright, what do we got over here? Ooh, lace wing flies. Thank God. There's a collection chest if you're working on that. Uh, there you go. And this is where I want high wing. So want them to have a feeder. There you go. Hello. The eating? Okay, whatever. a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry Do his reading glasses count Thestrals as clothing? Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. 
Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. I need more potion ingredients. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? If you hear the mic get like that, messed with, my cat is on top of me. Uh, I'm gonna turn the mic off for a while while I play. Cat's still trying to cuddle, but I think we're good on the no microphone. Wait, where is he? Is that the other bathroom? Yeah, there he is. Money! are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Roanrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the Headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The Headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the Headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the Headmaster. He is. Zuko, what are you so doing? you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. I don't know if you're carrying out my cat potion. fiddling. You'll look and sound Sorry like if you Professor can. Black. Wait, yeah. doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. I would have gone with because you're say, creepy. I felt the need to be prepared for anything. I felt the need to be creepy. The ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more.
to more uh, dramatic reaction than even getting crucioed, quite frankly. Odd choice. How do you feel? <laughs> I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty like of you have more emotion than you've ever had in your As life. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Like, now, even the faculty the hates this guy. It's crazy. How does he have the job? This quest is so funny. What the heck? Yeah, there we go. Professor, a moment of your time. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. <laughs> Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. <laughs> I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. I love that so much. A student, deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <laughs> Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Uh, <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why Wait a second. I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Hello? What? <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> what did the headmaster want? Gareth! To make fun uh, of you. Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? <laughs> bring. I'd like to give it a try. <laughs> what? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On your way, Mr. Weasley. How pretentious to roll your R's, well, Professor Black. My diary. The English language hasn't done that in a very long time. <laughs> why are there people that do that? When it's their first language, obviously, not, you know, coming from a second language. That makes much more sense to me. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Professor Black, how are you? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with, uh, boobo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. <laughs> uh, <right. clears throat> what? Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I love I'm messing sure with my friends like this. healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> Something is very wrong with yeah, it's because I'm um, not Professor Black. I'm Frankie First Year. Professor, a word? Yeah, yeah, what? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. 
Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You... I mean, he's not really wrong. Sometimes, sir. But, uh... Good mind to we do have this debate in the States with American football. And, uh... I'm kind of in time. favor of letting them play, so... <laughs> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. All right, peace out. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? If you uh, I'm speak curious with me, myself. My secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Yep. Anybody else I can mess with? Get down. So says Headmaster Frankie first year. Why is that hat so big? <laughs> okay. I can mess with you. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. <laughs> and before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible. I mean, I've seen them about. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> Sp speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Who else can I mess with? Oh, well, I gotta come back here later. Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Professor, a word, please. Yeah, sure. Hello, Professor Black. Ah. Professor Weasley, how, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, Professor Fig. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Mm. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. Uh, what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never <laughs> understand that man. <laughs> for real, how am I headmaster? Breathing room? How did that happen? Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his group. Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How? Dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Of course I remember. It's the Black Family reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? 
<laughs> but suddenly I remember. It's still stronger together, no? <laughs> Master has made Scrope laugh. <laughs> it's pure bloods forever, isn't it? <laughs> uh, close pure master. bloods forever. <laughs> Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, <laughs> Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh, the polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ravenclaw forever, baby. Except Hufflepuff is actually the one forever, but that's fine. Cause I am Ravenclaw today. Let's skedaddle on out of here. Oh, not over there. Okay. This way. Ah, uh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Have we actually even been up that way? Up to the, uh... The headmaster's office? Is still Ravenclaw forever? Yeah! Wait a second. Did they change it from the actual bronze that it was supposed to- No, they didn't. Good. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to tell. I swear they did it in like a really light bronze. <laughs> to appease the movie people. Yeah, see look! This side's silver, this side is bronze. What? Like, what is happening? It's blue and bronze, but whatever. Why did they change it for the movie anyway? A tad ridiculous. And you wouldn't mind, but Slytherin has those colors. Has the silver. And they didn't change that. Like, I don't know. It seems silly. A rather superfluous change. I heard something. I could swear one of these portraits has a, uh, a scroll, but I guess not. There it is. Oh, oh, we haven't been up here. Oh boy, oh boy, do we have stuff to collect, man. Let's get collecting. We got a goblet of fire. Now. Hello. Pavelia. Trophy room. 
Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition for exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows this special award upon 7th year Hufflepuff Mirabelle Garlic. From mandrakes to mistletoe and boober tubers to bouncing bulbs, her work on flora has exceeded all expectations. Good for you, Professor Garlic. Good for you. Fifteenth of February, eighteen fifty-one. Hey, that's my birthday. This morning's crystal gazing was most discouraging. I was initially thrilled to see the Ministry of Magic in my future. The atrium appeared to me clear as day. I've always dreamed of working there. However, as the atrium dissolved into a sea of brooms, endless rows of them, my election turned to despair. I am destined for a future in broom regulatory control. The tedium would rival the song of a whooper for my sanity. For now, I must ex accept that I am simply not naturally inclined towards divination, although perhaps I have some subtle skill in that. I can sense that. What? Okay, likely so. Hmm. Fascinating. Ah, level three. Level two, I think, did that say? The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. All right. See you in a minute for the next upload of the day. Peace.